In this video, we're going to install this um, plug on the other side of this uh, wall plug here, exactly on the opposite side, because we don't have a plug uh, in that area of the room. And uh, we're actually using a uh, GFCI because it's right next to a shower. And um, the common rule is that uh, if you are within uh, even six foot, from water, you should use GFCI. And I uh, just want to show you some of the uh, equipment uh, that we have here to be used. So first we have cable, uh, electrical cable. You don't need this much, this is 100 foot. Um, utility knife, cable cutter, wire stripper, electrical screwdriver. Uh, this is just a fancy screwdriver with the uh, insulation. Um, I'm missing one of the uh, screwdrivers, so I'm using this one right here. This one also have a plastic handle, so that's good. Voltage detector, rubber gloves, and that is actually a bracket for the wall for the other side when we, when we are going to put this one on. And I'm going to show you what the other side looks like. Um, but before I do that, before I forget, I want to remind you guys that this is a do-it-yourself video. Um, if you're not comfortable doing electricity on your house, on your own house you should probably uh, hire a professional a uh, certified uh, electrician or licensed electrician and um, disclaimer also I'm not responsible for anything that you do wrong or any harm that you can do to yourself or your house um, having said that I'm gonna show you the other side okay so this is the other side uh, of this wall so I have a shower here and a commode here and in this area of my bathroom, I don't have a plug. Uh, so every time we want to clean, let's say we want to do a vacuum uh, around this area, the cord doesn't quite reach long enough. So this is a really convenient location actually uh, for us to have another plug. So putting another plug here, as you can tell, is so close to the shower. There's really no, uh, well, there's water here, but it's not like we're splashing water or, any, or anything. Um, that's why we're using GFCI. So you have to use something that has short, short, uh, sh short circuit protection uh, when you are this close to water. Secondly, this location is because if we would have removed the other circuit there and drilled directly through, we would probably come out somewhere around here within six inches uh, of this area which is perfect so this is the least amount of work that you can uh, expect to do for uh, adding another outlet another uh, warning that you should keep in mind uh, when doing this is that you can't just keep adding outlets as many as you want on a chain of uh, a circuit uh, because there's capacity and there's load etc. So eventually um, There is some kind of limit um, For each breaker and if it's overloaded then your breaker start tripping. So We don't really need to, I, I'm not using it that way. I mean like I said, this is this is solely probably for the purpose of Vacuum cleaners being put on here or some kind of cleaning equipment We are not going to be using this extra plug here for anything else other than that. So for my purpose is good, but I just want to explain to you guys, this technique should not be abused. Uh, you cannot just keep adding more and more outlet uh, like this. So keep that in mind. Okay, first thing that we want to do obviously is to um, make sure that the electricity from the breaker has been disconnected so that we can safely handle this without being electrocuted. And uh, so I'm going to do that by removing the cover first carefully don't touch anything inside and then use a uh, voltage te tester like this to test it and i'll show you exactly how to do that and to how to identify with a circuit breaker okay as you can see this is 120 volt so the circuit right now is hot or live so don't do anything uh don't touch it you, otherwise you're going to get electrocuted and the best thing to do this uh, to make sure that this is off is to get somebody right now using your phone if you have your wife or somebody uh, that basically that can go to the circuit breaker and start flipping off each one of the circuit breaker off in the garage or wherever your circuit breaker panel is 
and then when you're holding this just to confirm that it is the right one that is turning that's being turned off okay so this is right now off because uh, we just turned it off at the breaker and as you can see uh, we check it here with the voltage tester and there's no electricity here Okay, so we are sure that this is off. Now we can actually open it and disconnect the cable. Okay, so now I got this open and uh, what I'm gonna do is disconnect uh, all the cables direct uh, from this plug right here. This plug does not need to be a GFCI uh, because there's no water around here. And uh, once we get this removed, we'll go ahead and drill a hole directly to the other side. And we'll put in a new cable, connect it, and uh, that's the plan. This plug here actually have uh, multiple um, connection point so this is the one that's being used right now uh, so we can actually uh, hook in our next plug to this uh, connector here and same thing on the other side uh, we have one empty connection here so this and this connect these two connectors are actually connected together they're joint um, or shorted and uh, so we can just use this connector and this connector and for the ground uh, we're just going to have another ground cable um, connected to this uh, green screw here and that should be uh, good enough so next I'm going to prepare the cable that I'm going to use to connect from here to the other side and um, I'm gonna be pretty generous here uh, give about I don't know this is about six inch here I'll give it about a foot of cable so that uh, when we connect from here there's good enough access cable just like how we are experiencing here you see how we can easily or comfortably work on this because there's plenty of slack yeah that's what we're trying to do so I'm gonna go ahead and cut about a foot of cable here yeah right there uh, no yeah just middle in the middle so we're going to uh, drill through right now, um, starting off with a smaller bit to go through the plastic and then we're going to change it out to a larger bit uh, to go through. I think the wall is probably about, total probably about um, 6 inch to 8 inch thick at the most. So we're going to use a longer bit like that. That should make it go all the way through. The other side, I know we punctured through there. This is the hole on the other side. I prepared uh, this cable uh, so this cable is just three wires one ground one hot and one common um, so this is all going to connect just the same colors just like that and uh, 
Uh, so this is from that 100 foot spool and I'm just cutting it um, about half inch off on each side and uh, I'm gonna be hooking it up right now to that plug right now okay so I connected the uh, cable um, that goes to the other side all the wires are connected so here you see the white or the commons are connected and the blacks are connected and the ground are joined together also so we're ready to push this in um, yeah try to fold the cable kind of like an accordion nicely so that it it can be uh, pushed back easily and and then we'll screw it in and uh, we're ready to work on the other side Okay, so here's our new plug and uh, we just turned the electricity back on at the breaker and we can now do a test so there's a test button here to test um, faulting the GFCI manually and this is a reset button on the, in the middle so that's the reset and let's see if we have electricity there you go this is just a light or lamp um, that I'm testing with right here to show you guys that uh, we have electricity here. Um, okay, well that's it. Um, thanks for watching this short video. Hopefully this is useful uh, for somebody that wants to add an outlet. And if you find this video useful, um, please help support my channel by subscribing or hitting the uh, like button. Uh, much appreciated. If you like content like this, um, once again, please uh, consider subscribing for my to my channel and uh, thank you for watching. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel to see more do it yourself.